Hello again everyone, welcome back to the channel and this week let me share with you my favorite Breville accessory. This fits both the Barista Express and the Pro. Um, again, if you're new to the channel, please give us some love and subscribe to the channel to help us reach our first 1k sub and like this video for the YouTube algorithm. The nifty gadget accessory that we're going to talk about today is this cool 3D printed dosing funnel slash tamping station that I got from a fellow uh, YouTuber here in Singapore, uh, Speedy 3D Creation, also known as Cafe Martella. And let me show you why I love this thing so much. If you've watched our other videos, you probably have seen some of my gripes about the Breville machines that have this built-in grinder as convenient as it is it does have some um, quirks that after a while especially if you're making more than one or two cups uh, at a time it can get kind of annoying in terms of trying to figure out consistency and primarily it has to be the design of this um, outlet hole of the grinder itself i don't really know what this thing is called so one of the things is like these notches this ridges where you put the portafilter it tends to um you know get some grinds spilled onto the side when you're grinding out and then the second thing is um you probably notice that if you put the portafilter in and you push it in and you start to get the grinds out um, a lot of times because of how the spout is designed and the gap between the, the top and the bottom a lot of the grinds will actually spew out bias more on the front and it leaves the side and, and, the, and the back a bit empty and when you pull the portafilter out you will most likely spill some grinds at least like half a grams all the time so where does this dosing cup 3d printed thing come in right so first of all i think this is actually a either a public or or a shared um 3d print file because i have seen other sellers sell the exact same item albeit a little bit of subtle designs i do like this nice rose gold touch and it turns out you know other sellers have pretty much the same color um they do have different logos for example and uh, I think you know probably the build quality will be different from maker to maker but this one is pretty darn good so the top part involves this cap and this cap is really pretty cool so you can twist it off and just snap it off and it is actually um, um, held together by six really really powerful neodymium magnets um, that snaps together on the other side um, it's really neat that um, whether it's by design or, or by Cafe Martella that they use two magnets um, because it allows you to snap it on you know by stages instead of um, one whole thing coming off the hole from the top will fit the 53 point whatever temper that you have even the stock one perfectly with a slight gap um, but most likely you're not going to be tamping inside this thing on the other end you got this um, cover with these three notches and these three notches um, um, pretty much uh, functions as a, a as a dosing cup cover if you want to shake it and stuff and as you can see it, it is pretty tight uh, on certain angles so I would imagine that that's probably from the printing but it's no big deal um, um, I don't know what those two round things are on the top of the cap but anyway you know you can see from the top you know the top uh, is a lot wider than the bottom so it actually allows you to pour the coffee beans into the dosing cup pretty um, easily and yeah and it's also made of food grade um, plastic so um, it, it's great and according to to the seller you know um, we just keep brushing it and wiping it to keep it clean uh, I, I try not to wash it if I don't have to so yeah so this is how it goes it, it, it can sit like that pretty cleanly and so this is how you kind of use it right so you snap the top off and that's usually where the coffee beans go and in and as you can see the the mouth is pretty large and it really makes it quite easy for you to pour the coffee and has a big notch for you to put the portafilter filter to rest and the portafilter filter actually snaps in um, um, quite nicely if you're just putting it on top like for example in this case which normally is what happens when you're trying to distribute and tamp it 
and you can use the entire thing as a tamping station just like so so personally I, I use it quite often but I'm not really quite sure if I'm gonna keep doing it simply because it's plastic so uh, I, I'm not quite sure if that's a great idea to keep pushing it down with pressure but it is a great tool because you know before I, I use you know some sort of a rubber mat like this one and and I put the uh, porta filter down so that obviously you know you, you run the risk of this thing moving if your mat is not big enough I also have to deal with some drips and stuff from the spout so I do kind of like um, um, how I can keep it clean and just keep things on top of the bench and on the dosing filter anything that spills like a little bit of grind that spills you know it keeps my counter clean i can just throw it you know from the dosing cup to the uh, knock box pretty easily so again with the um with the naked porta filter it actually does not fit as well um well partially because obviously this is not an official porta filter and the second thing is you just don't have the counterweight of the original one because the original one is just so much heavier by the head as compared to the naked porta filter so yeah just be mindful of that if you're going to use that with the naked porta filter so assuming you're going to use this with the standard porta filter um so just keep in mind that that you know everything is is built pretty well it snaps on on and off pretty well but it does takes a little bit of time for you to get used to um, uh, which direction you have to lock the porta filter in what direction the cap goes into and all that stuff right so again it's not a big deal you, you pretty much figure it out pretty quickly so let's take a closer look again with uh, what this cup uh, build quality and as well as volume is so the internal volume of this um, dosing cup fits I would say approximately 27 to 30 something grams of beans I, th I would say that a little bit less than 35 so um, just an FYI so most of us will probably only use between 16 and a half to 20 grams anyway so it shouldn't really be an issue it will hold your grinds um, um, really well uh, even has enough room to spare for you to shake and and those and and, and uh, distribute as you need if you're going to use a uh, you know that poking poking tool thing to loosen up your grains that's not really uh, an issue so looking into this you know in terms of quality i really really do like it as i mentioned earlier one of my favorite things on this thing is this this uh, metallic gold thing with the dual magnet that allows you to snap the item with very very precise confidence um, but i do think that some things in design can be a little better specifically with the top cap i wish those um two knobs and this this handle is a little bit more specific to tell us where to align it uh, so that we don't get confused as to how to turn the porta filter and stuff so in terms of how it fits into the grinding hole um this thing was originally designed or at least sold to me by somebody who uses the pro version instead of the barista express so i don't know if that is a factor if you're just going to use this directly into the the grinder the top part where it touches the bottom will actually not sit in very tightly as you can see it will kind of droop down a bit but it will be fine once you put the pour the filter in and like what i just mentioned you know i wish um i know easily whether you know to insert a porta filter and turn it clockwise or counterclockwise you know i know that after a while you get used to it but you know it, it would be nice if we t you, there's some sort of indicator to tell you to align the starting point somewhere but once you get it in it sits very very securely it's not going to move you know you can turn it tilt it or whatever that you're not going to spill any grinds on that so it's pretty wonderful so most people will use this dosing funnel myself included with the porta filter and but some people i have seen on youtube uses this dosing cup a little differently wherein they probably have a separate um, on grinder that allows them to do that but i would caution a little bit against it simply because it's a 3d printed item and the tolerances of of the the fit of this top cap is a little questionable so again i don't know if it's just mine or 
it is, is it like that by the file as you can see there's like a little play on the top part even if it's locked so um while it's not really gonna spill anything i, I honestly don't think any of the grinds will be able to fall out of that gap because it, it is pretty snug once you you close it but i do wish that again with the alignments would be a little easier because as you can see it sometimes snaps and you know uh, gives you this boomerang kick when you try to pull it open and if you do have quite a bit of grinds there you know the odds of you you know spilling grinds all over the place will be relatively high i just think it's an unnecessary stress to have so this is how some people i've seen on youtube do it so they, they close the bottom and they actually fill the dosing cup with coffee beans and then they snap the tap top back on and they shake the heck out of it you know just like that and and you know from there they're going to be um distributing and and uh, tamping it and you know um from there they open it up and then as you can see it, it it can get quite tricky to take that cap off and then afterwards you know they put the dosing uh the, the porta filter back in and then they flip it over and they give it a few tap and that will put the the loose grinds into the porta filter i just think it's quite a, a lot of work and and process and steps to go through and i don't think it's a very good idea to do so but if you want to try it go ahead so this is how i do it and this video was shot you know the day i got the dosing funnel so this is really the first time i'm using it so if it looks a little bit a little bit clunky don't worry at the end of the video i'll show you how i'm using it you know after about three weeks two three weeks of using it so again you know you weigh the this is again how i used to do it when i first got it this is not how i do it now but i dose the the uh, i tear the the scale with just the distributor um tamping uh, i'm sorry um the dosing cup and for this you know i'm, I'm putting uh, around 17 grams of coffee or 17.5 yeah 17.5 grams of coffee into into the cup and this is what this recipe just happens to be and one thing i kind of noticed that when using this um dosing cup and you know the ability for you to distribute is a lot better i noticed that before if i try to you know dose the the the, the grind directly to the porta filter i tend to have an issue of the grind spilling over if it's anything more than 16 and a half um with this surprisingly even if i go like 18 18 and a half sometimes even 19 I can get it pretty flush to to the porta filter so once i have that in you know i use the cup itself to pour the the beans into the hopper it, it stops me from using the hopper cover nowadays and then you know from there you take your porta filter you take the top cap off you don't really need that anymore and then you put your um, um, porta filter in again this is one of my gripes i don't really know instinctively whether to insert it um, um, to which slot before I lock it but once you do you know um, um, you take the top cap off you know the magnetic cap off and you put it into your machine and it sits there pretty snug you know you really don't have a lot of problems with it so the usual you press the the entire dosing cup and, and pour the filter in to start your grind and um, it works pretty well I haven't really seen any issues with with contact or, or fit um, and the grinds as you can see shoot straight into the uh, dosing cup and a f i guess a funnel as well really really well and and i don't see any spillage that you see in the sides and at the back that we normally see if i'm just using the porta filter and the basket by itself and i'm not quite sure if you can see it so the grinds are have a little bit of boulders and stuff like that which is common for our um grinder so what this funnel and cup allows you to do because it's so deep you can actually um, um, dose um, directly onto that and so what you do after you uh, put it in you close the, the the magnetic cap on you can give it a few shakes just to loosen and distribute it into the the porta filter more evenly um, one thing i kind of forgot to do here is to make sure to distribute the grind level 
to the to the to the portal filter before taking it out and you'll see how i do it now towards the end of the video again this is the first time i'm using it and as you can see when i take it out i i kind of tilted it a bit to the left so i'm having a big um um, um cavity on the right side of the portal filter that's not exactly what i wanted to do so you know before i can use the distributor tool you know i actually have to push it a, a little bit you know distribute it to the side that's not ideal and and again i'll show it to you towards the end of the video on how to do it more properly but you know in this case you know this is my first time using it so i just put the uh, distributor uh, in and try to distribute it as much as possible and clean off the sides as you can see i don't have a lot of spillage even with the mess that i made initially and then from here you know from the dosing cup uh, itself i can tamp directly um and yeah it's not really that hard and then i think it, it, it's quite good to tamp it here because it's quite level but i think you know after a while it might induce some unnecessary stress to the 3d printed um, item so i would probably go back to a different tamping station after this so after that you know the, we we do the normal thing of you know like pre-flushing the group head and uh, getting our coffee extract this is not what this video is about um, but I should have recorded this with a naked porta filter but I would I guess that most people don't have the naked porta filter because it I noticed that you know it did improve the distribution and it did reduce the channeling that I've experienced that I'm having issues with in the past um, because of the grinder because of the uh, uh, how the grinds are distributed and compacted inside the tall 54 mm basket right as you can see the, you know the extraction is um, nice and golden it's fine there's nothing wrong with it again you can't really s tell that much with a spouted um, um, uh, porta filter so we're not gonna cover much about that in that regard so how else can you do this right so if you're wondering about the dosing cup method that i mentioned earlier that i don't recommend um this is how i've seen other people do it so after you close the top lid and you pour all your grind out into the cup um, you close the magnetic um, I don't know if it's the top or bottom you know you'll just call it the magnetic side and a lot of people just shake the heck out of it you know um, um, personally I just do it by feel if it feels like you know I don't have a lot of boulders or clumpiness going on I'll stop and as you can see I, I have a hard time opening this cap you really have to like align the this notches perfectly um, before you can pull it off otherwise the the chance of it snapping is pretty high so i might you know grab a dremel or some or just some sandpaper and and you know give it a little bit more uh, uh smoothness we'll, we'll see so after you do that you know you level uh, you you grab your porta filter and you snap it in and this part it really snaps very nicely and from here this is the mistake that i did previously and this is how you should um you know kind of like the, the the typical 58 mm where you want to tap all around and and to make sure you distribute um, the grinds properly um it's kind of silly but the right way to do it is to actually just open the cover and take a look and i again i didn't do it here so you know i just kind of assumed that after all those taps it, it would have been level so let's so after that you take it off and it did you know it, it is kind of level this is actually like 18 grams so and and it sits very cleanly into the uh, into the basket i'm not having a big triangular mound which allows me to use the distribution tool a lot better and of course it allows me to tamp um, much uh, uh, much more consistently as well i think it really helps a lot with the workflow and we're in the the most important part you know the distribution of the grinds into the basket is is a lot more consistent and as you can see you know the extraction it's really really nice like I, I actually get a lot less splatter and things like that or or you know both of the spouts kind of come out re relatively evenly uh, if I'm using two cups as compared to not having that um, consistency before again you can't really see it until we have a, a, a naked porta filter and it will never be that perfect but I, I have to say this this tool really made this whole process of distributing and tamping a lot more consistent for me so ultimately the question that you guys 
probably already know is whether I recommend this or not and what the verdict is, right? For me, I think this is one of the best tools and one of the best accessories ever made for the Breville. Um, as everybody knows, you know, the, the grinder is probably one of the most convenient, but also one of probably the sh biggest shortcomings of the machine. And that also comes not just from the grinding, but also in the distribution. And this tool really allows you to be a lot more consistent with your distribution as well as your tamping eventually and of course that affects your extraction my only gripe with this is really the the tolerance of fit of the top knob and i think it's nothing you cannot solve with a file or some sandpaper and i think it's a really good buy i mean it's not that expensive and it's so handy it looks pretty the rose gold metallic part is um, stunning so go check it out I have it in the link so just for you to see how my current workflow is let me show you how I do this after a couple of weeks of owning this so what I do now is you know I get my porta filter and I put it in the dosing basket you know what? I'm not gonna say anything anymore. Just enjoy the music and watch the rest of the workflow. Once again guys, this is David, thanks again for watching the video, if you like this please help us reach 1k and click the subscribe button and check out our other videos in the playlist below. Thank you and have a great day!